or it's by more on every social media platform. So as I said, uh, we are focusing on social media on Fridays, and today we have picked the, a career that I've has been, I can't say birth, but uh, it may grow sana your Instagram. And this is the photography uh, career. And in studio with me, I have Tatiana Karanja, AKA Mama Olive with me, who's going to be sharing a story. Uh, but before that, VDJ Khalifa, please remind them uh, what sounds they're listening to. Okay, uh, you're listening to the sounds of VDJ Khalifa okay, uh, on social media platforms or a pataji. Okay, come on, Facebook, Instagram, VDJ Khalifa. Then our first gig of January by date, we got to miss our how to Nena Garisa. Garisa, Garisa, club in a town club. All right. Yeah, is it how many kilometers from Nairobi? Actually, it's difficult, Garissa. This is your first this time. This is my Garissa. first time. So if you're watching us from Garissa County, we'll be having VDJ Khalifa, the official Freestyle Friday DJ, coming to your county. So please hit us up on our social media, White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. Without much further ado, Mama Olive Karibusana. Hi, thank you very much for uh, having me. All right, you're welcome. Uh, so uh, you, have, you have an AKA. Olive is your firstborn. Yes, she's my firstborn. Yeah. All right. How old is Olive? She's almost two, and then I have a new one who uh -huh. is almost six weeks. Almost Marley, six weeks. Yeah. I so uh, family is one of your hobbies. You'll be t telling us about that. But who's uh, Tatiana Karanja? In a few words, uh, camera is number four. Tatiana Karanja. Okay. Well, I'm a photographer, a mother, um, a foodie, a blogger, an adventurer. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what else can I say about myself? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's enough. Uh, so uh, you're a photographer by yeah. profession. Yeah. Uh, you studied this in college. Yes, I did. And maybe you can give us a brief background of how this started. Um, when well, did you first fall in love with photography? Yeah, I think I've always been in love with photography. I just, you know, in Kenya growing up, you don't think that's it's something that you can follow. Mm -hmm. I mean, growing up, it, it wasn't even something offered in school. So it was something, you know, when the first f mobile phones with cameras came out. Exactly, I, used to take, I remember yeah. I was really fascinated by them. Yeah, uh -huh. so I used to take a lot of pictures of my sister um, mm -hmm. and my grandfather, my Dutch grandfather, he, he gave me his old camera. So I used to go and do a lot of wildlife in the Na Nairobi National mm -hmm. Park. And I what remember type of camera was this? Uh, it was a really old Canon. I'm not sure what it's analog so uh -huh. it's with film um, uh -huh. I'm not I can't remember exactly what it was but I used to just love taking photos with it mm -hmm. and it was something I was really fascinated by but it, again it was not something I thought I could pursue so you know so how to process the pictures as well the no, old I, pictures at that time uh -huh. of course I gave it to code I mean one of the stores and they uh -huh. process it for me All right. and then I used to do some edits online which were uh -huh. terrible but you know back in the day <laughs> I, thought still I, have the pictures. Yeah, I, I think I do somewhere uh -huh. um, but then yeah I just applied for something in the Netherlands and I got in and my parents were very supportive and I went to right, university. So you told yeah. your parents I want to be a photographer. It was uh, an art photography course and I uh, applied for it. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, go and follow go what you want to do. Yeah. Dreams. All right. What, what does your dad do? Uh, business. Oh, he's, he's a, a business businessman business. like any other Kikuyu uh, out there. You know? <laughs> I like that. All right. So uh, you went and studied uh, photography in yes, Netherlands. Yes. Yes. Uh, but you have also been in, been to South Africa. Yeah. I went to Sanya. school in South Africa, but that was for secondary school. So your school yes. in South Africa, but yeah. you grew up in Kenya. Yes, I did. All right. So uh, when you fell in love with photography, was Instagram alive? No. I, do, I think Instagram came about when I was in university, I, I think. All right. Yeah. So uh, you've seen the transition, yeah? Yes. Being a photographer without Instagram and being a photographer in this world with, uh, with Instagram. Yeah. How has Instagram like, uh, impacted this industry that you're in you know to be fair i don't think i've seen that much of a transition because at the time i was in university like i said so i wasn't even i wasn't even a known photographer i was still studying still trying to find my way so i don't think i really saw that transition i mean i came into this photography world with instagram all right so, oh, so yeah you haven't seen the transition no yet. but, but uh, i mean i can imagine that <laughs> instagram has really it's just a platform where you are able to show so much of your work to so many people. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine that that's, I mean, it's just been amazing for photography. For All right, what are some of the social media platforms that you would encourage a photographer to, to get involved in? Oh, with? definitely Instagram and you have to have your own website. I know it's not something that everybody goes to, but having a place where you can store all your pictures, I mean, create your own portfolio, your own style, because Instagram, so you have to follow your own website this. is very important. Yeah, because right. I mean, Instagram, you have to follow a certain style. I mean, you're posting your pictures, but it's in their 
style right. your 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 website is it's you it shows exactly who you are as a photographer uh -huh. and what you want to show the world so i think that's very important with it exactly All yeah right, nice one uh so you've involved yourself in a project recently i've i've been to your instagram but before we talk about this one please remind them your so your instagram handle uh, so they can stalk you while we talk about this okay uh -huh. my instagram handle is at tatiana karanja uh -huh. yeah tatiana karanja so maybe yes. you can scroll up uh or down, which one is it? <laughs> so please help me with that. Uh, yes, but I see pictures of uh, guys in uniform here. I also see pictures of some some kids right there. Uh, you can scroll. So I see yeah. the Maasai culture somewhere, the less so. Uh, I like the black and white pictures. Uh, right you. there, we can stop there. We can start with the animals. All right. What is all this about? I feel um, like these are when I get to your Instagram, I get the Kenyan feel immediately. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I love Kenya. I'm really passionate. When I come to Kenya, all my photography just comes to life. Mm -hmm. When I was in Holland, I wasn't really passionate about what I was doing there, so I'm really happy to be back. Mm -hmm. But this particularly, um, three different companies. One was Culture Trip. It's a mm -hmm. big, you know, it's a big online platform. Uh -huh. So that's, um, that Trip. was at the National Park. Mm -hmm. um, this is just some personal uh, maternity work. Um, mm -hmm. This black and white series was with Nature, with the Northern Ra Rangelands Trust, which uh -huh. is a huge company, and I loved working with them. I got to travel all over the northern rangelands mm -hmm. and just meet different tribes, learn mm -hmm. about our culture a bit more, learn about different cultures, different ways of life. It was uh -huh. it was really fantastic. Yeah. All right. Maybe you can scroll up to the maternity work right there that oh. you said was personal. Yeah. All right. Uh, what inspired this? Is it, is it the fact that you've experienced this before yes. and you're passionate about it? I think so. I mean, <coughs> before I was pregnant, I didn't really get into maternity shoots. Yeah. Um, but suddenly, once I was pregnant, people started requesting. And I think it's just a beautiful stage of life. And I think it's really beautiful for people to... Um, yeah, get their pictures taken and be able to, mem mem uh, to remember it. All right, all right, yeah. all right. You ate some butter in the morning, yeah. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh -huh. so it's a beautiful stage in life. Yeah, it really you is. You like yeah. capturing beautiful yeah. things and beautiful stages in yeah. life like that. White254 channel on Twitter, White254 <laughs> underscore channel on Instagram, and White254 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Hashtag is why in the morning. Hashtag is uh, Freestyle Friday. Tatiana Karanja on Instagram, a.k.a. Mama Olive, uh, is the person we have in studio with us to share the photography journey uh, with us so <laughs> i'd like to know uh traveling i've seen a lot of traveling yes. i can tell you travel a lot to take yes. these pictures yes uh this one is quite scary for me Really? Uh, oh, this is some <laughs> of my favorite. You had to get close to this animal to no, shoot. It was in the orphanage, All so right. I, they were behind um, a fence. All right. So how do you balance having a family, having two kids now, and traveling to to pursue your dream? Well, really, I'm actually very lucky with the job that I have because, again, it's not a nine to five job. So I get to spend a lot of time with my family and a lot of time at work as well. Um, but also people are surprisingly very accommodating. So when I traveled, I did travel at the time with my eldest, uh, Olive. I traveled with her wherever I went and people were very accommodating. I would have a room with her and also our nanny would come with us. So it I was- I see a lot of pictures of Olive. She's yeah. really lucky. Yeah. She's uh, going to have uh, a life documented yeah, from the is. jump. <laughs> <laughs> she is. It's good to have a mom who's a photographer. All right, so, uh, mm-hmm. I'm looking for a picture that I saw on your Instagram. This is your website, rather. Yeah, this is my uh, blog. Yeah. Uh, your website or your blog. This so you write blog, yeah. as well to accompany the pictures? Well, um, yeah, I like to have a blog where I talk about my motherhood journey. Mm -hmm. And then also I do get paid, uh, paid partnerships where I also yeah. put, put that on my blog. Okay. But my website for photography is completely separate to this. Right. This is, yeah, more of my motherhood journey and just okay. what, I, yeah, what we're going through. All right, so maybe a lot of moms watch Why in the Morning, so maybe you can share with them how uh, they can get to this particular blog. Your camera is number four. Yeah, um, for this blog, you just go to www.mama-olive.com. Um, and yeah, if you want to follow anything mother-related, please do go check out at Mama Olive K on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you talk about on this? I mean, I talk about everything from... Just, I'm very personal with the stuff that I share, so I make it very personal to me. Um, I talk about weight, I talk about you know going through ups and downs during your pregnancy, I talk about how to get breast milk, I, talk, I mean, I talk about a lot of things. All right, talking about weight, uh, you're also passionate about fitness, yeah? I am, yes, mm -hmm. yes, I am. So, uh, w did it start after you became a mom, or before? No, before, so I mean, during, in school I was very fit, I used to do all sorts of sports, uh -huh. and then... Which one was your favorite? 
uh, hockey and rounders, I would say. Hockey and rounders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and swimming right. at one point. Swimming um, at one point. Yeah. All right. So you played hockey till high school? Yeah. And then suddenly I started gaining a lot of weight and uh -huh. I just became very unfit, unfit, unhealthy and very unhappy because of that. Right. So just in university, I started working out a lot and yeah, it just became a passion again. Yeah. To start working out and just becoming healthy. All right. Feeling good about myself, really. What are some of the tips you can give the photographers out there? The three must haves. Three must have. Well, definitely uh, a good lens. Uh -huh. um, my favorite lens, 24 to 70. Uh -huh. That is just such a versatile lens that I think that every photographer should have in their kit. If any lens that you should have that one, uh -huh. um, a good eye. Don't don't let people put you down. Whatever whatever you think that you you love doing or you love focusing on, do that because that's what makes you unique. And yeah, camera of course. A camera of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I like that. You chose the right day to come to White in the morning. Because uh, we play games on Friday. Do you like games? Yes, I do like games. <laughs> God, but I'm scared. Right. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. It's a simple one. So uh, these are some questions that um, I see photographers post online. Uh, some of them say they hate these questions. Okay. Uh, some of them say uh, they, ca they can't take it anymore. They've oh, had these gosh. questions so okay. many times. So I'd like to know if you've heard them before. And uh, you can answer them as well. Okay. All right. So... Uh, Canon or Nikon? Are you a Canon or Nikon guy? Have you ever had this question yes, before? Yes, all the time. Right. I'm a Canon solely because I started off with Canon and uh -huh. I, I'm just not going to switch. I all don't right. have anything against Nikon. You don't have anything no. against Nikon? No. But this is where you started? Yes. And you're staying there? Yeah. That's I your mean, story. I mean, I know it. I know how and to And you're use sticking it. to yeah. it. All right. Uh, how, how soon will these be, be online after you take pictures of people? Have you had this question before? How, yes, all the time. Um, in my contract, I state uh, how long each, like a wedding takes this time, a portrait session takes this time, so that they know that they cannot ask me for them within a day. I like that you mentioned uh, your in your contracts you state. Yeah. So it's very important as a photographer to have yes. contracts as well. Oh, yes. I mean, oh, man, being a photographer in Kenya is really terrible. I mean, I feel like people don't take you seriously. Yeah. So having a good contract is very important. Right, so it's yeah. always very important to draft your contract. Yes. Uh, have professional relations with yes. your clients. Yeah, 100%. Nice one. I like that. I'm getting tips as we play this yeah. game. All right. <laughs> Are you going to send me copies of all these shots? No, I'm not going to send you copies of all the shots. I'm going to send you the, my top edited images. Right. Please don't ask me for all the shots. Yeah. All right. I like that. All right. Uh, can you make me look good, thin and amazing? Oh, I hate that. I'm just like, why? Why? <laughs> and then also a lot of people ask me to Photoshop a lot of the face. And I'm like, well, if you, you should hire somebody to do this beforehand. Right. So I don't have all the work afterwards. Right. Because some people, they, they really don't take shoots seriously. Like I've said, right. um, they'll, hire you, they'll want you to do a fashion shoot, but they won't hire a makeup artist. They won't right. hire a hairstylist. They won't hire... A good a stylist. stylist yeah. yeah and it's really important i mean I, i'm not going to be able to make all of this stuff happen post i mean editing all right. so, so uh say i want to have a fashion shoot do i have to bring my own director or you're, you're, you're going no, to no I'll, I'll direct you're but direct. i mean depending on how you want the images to look you'll need to take the whole shoot seriously so have all the people available that we need available all right yeah that's fine uh so we uh i think i have the the last three okay uh have you ever heard this pickup line before my cousin is also a photographer. No. Oh, my brother. Oh, my no. sister. You've no. never had this no. one before. Is that, a, is that a pickup line? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, because these, these questions, I got them online okay. uh, from a photography group. Okay. Uh, so these are some of the things they experience uh, in the line of duty. Okay. So uh, the last one, I think we have the last one. Wow, that's a big camera. I bet it takes amazing pictures. Yes, all the time. All the time. I hear that one. And then also the other one is, all you have to do is click a button. That those that two, no, yeah, apparently it's just, right. that's it. This is your chance. Tell them what it takes to get a good picture. Oh, I mean, I think you have dedication, passion. I mean, you need an eye for photography. You're not just going to snap, you're not just clicking a button. Otherwise, everybody could do it. Right. Yeah. So you need an eye. Yeah, you need the, the eye for photographer. Uh, yeah, of course, definitely. Uh -huh. Your lighting, I mean, every photographer is different. I work with natural light, um, mm -hmm. and a lot of people like studio lighting. Uh -huh. So everybody's different. But mm -hmm. yeah, lighting is very important. Lighting is very important. Mm -hmm. As we come to the end of this, what is uh, the next thing you're getting into? In terms of projects. Well, hopefully this year, a lot more traveling around Kenya. That's my, that's my plan. So right. we'll see. Fingers crossed. I have a lot of plans, but I don't want to say, what I don't want to jinx anything. What is the with this traveling around Kenya and documenting? Well, I mean, firstly, I'd like to just get some beautiful pictures of Kenya, just to document the life we live. I mean, I really hated when I went abroad and people were very, 
backward thinking yeah. towards Kenya and towards just everything about our culture and yes. everything like that. All they know is what they see on BBC exactly. and CNN. Exactly. Right. So, I mean, I just love to give people a different perspective. But then also the fact is I'd also like to learn a lot more about Kenya myself. Uh -huh. So that's also why I'd like to travel around Kenya a lot more. Uh -huh. Even my daughters, I'd love them to learn more about Kenya. Uh -huh. um, I think growing up, I also was very educated with British system yeah british system uh -huh. so and i, I didn't feel like really you missed learn something yeah i did i missed a lot about mm -hmm. kenya and that's so shameful so i i would just like to educate myself a bit more yeah i like that all right so uh, do you think it's tougher for ladies in this industry no it's i don't no, no i've not experienced that no all right to all the ladies out there will be complaining it's so tough for ladies in the photography industry oh my god oh my god yes you heard it <laughs> don't complain pick up that camera get a good lens uh, get a good eye or practice your eyes for this thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, as we come to the end of this, your social media handles again, uh, so they can stalk you and then okay. book you if they'd like to, and then you can give them the information on, on how they can book you. Okay, so f to book me, just email me what you'd like. I'll send you my rate card, my contract. You'll have a look at it, see if it's okay. But um, you can follow me at, at Tatiana Karanja for my photography or at Mama Olive K for my motherhood journey. And my website is www.tatianakaranja.com to see more of my work. All right, so yeah. uh, we, we are playing Kenyan music today. Uh, so I'd like you to request one song before we go. Oh one my Kenyan gosh. Song. There was a song that I heard yesterday on radio by the band Becca. Yeah. I don't remember what it's called, but maybe you can play any song by them because I really liked it. Any that. song by yeah. band Becca. We yes. are going to find that. Do you have any song by band Becca, VDJ Khalifa? Yes, as VDJ Khalifa lines that up, thank you very much for coming thank to, to so Y in the morning. Yeah. And thank you very much for what you're doing online for the, for the country as well. Thank and you. And just uh, showing the other side of Kenya that people don't know. Thank you very much. All yeah. right. Yes, so this is why in the morning, Freestyle Friday, I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Morning every social media platform. Today's photography edition on why in the morning on Freestyle Friday, VDJ Khalifa is about to take it away with Tatiana Karanja's request. Van Becker.